Good morning, this is Chris Shoemaker, also known as Yehuda Ben Shomer, and you're listening to Coffee with Chris, the time of the day where we share a cup of coffee and share a bit of the Word of God. This is our fifth Sidra, our fifth Aliyah of this Torah portion for this week. This is Thursday, and it's the Torah portion of Ikev, which means because. And today's Torah portion, the section is taken from Deuteronomy chapter 10, verse 12, all the way to chapter 11, verse 9. So we're going to be dealing with chapter 11, verses 2 through 9. Today, I'm going to show you how you can set others up for miracles. Let's read. Moses said, today it is you I am addressing, not your children who have not known or experienced the discipline of Adonai your God, his greatness, his strong hand, his outstretched arm, his signs and his actions, which he did in Egypt to Pharaoh, king of Egypt and to his entire country. They didn't experience what he did to Egypt's army horses and chariots, how Adonai overwhelmed them with the water of the Red Sea as they were pursuing you so that they may, so that they remain destroyed to this day. They didn't experience what he kept doing for you in the desert until you arrived at this place or what he did to Dathan and Aviram, the sons of Eliab, the, the descendants of Reuben, how the earth opened its mouth and swallowed them up along with their households, tents, every living thing in their company. They're in front of all Israel, but you have seen with your own eyes all these great deeds of Adonai. Therefore, you are to keep every commandment, every mitzvah I am giving you today so that you will be strong enough to go in and take possession of the land you are crossing over to conquer and so that you will live long in the land that Adonai swore to give to your ancestors and their descendants, a land flowing with milk and honey. So the way you set others up for miracles is to reveal and to relay and to retell the miracles that God has done in your life or in your family's life or in your, your church or synagogue's life, what he has done for you. So you can set them up to, to kind of look forward to maybe what God may do for them or at least what God is capable of. Because you know what? They can read about miracles in the Bible. But that just seems so distant and far away. They don't, they don't really know these biblical characters. They can't go back in time and know them and meet them and, 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 and whatnot. But they know you. They know you. They know your life. They know your testimony. They have a personal uh, a relationship with you. Therefore, you have a rapport. So they're more apt to believe what you say about your own personal life than really what the Bible says. So you basically are a Bible to people who have never picked up a Bible before. So when you testify of God's goodness, his grace, Greatness, his miracles. Uh, when you're talking to a non-believer as well as a believer, you can set them up for uh, for miracles by telling them what God has done for you. Relay to them God's mighty acts, God's faithfulness, God's uh, promises that He's given you that He's kept. His faithfulness, that he is a God that is holy and that is loving, that can be trusted, that he's a fair, holy, and just God. He's a mighty God that can overcome sickness, that can overcome circumstance and situations, that can uh, basically turn the tables around and do the impossible. Your testimony, especially with unbelievers, in some instances can be more powerful than just reading from the Bible itself because it hits home to them because they know you. To them, a Bible is just an odd, religious, weird, distant book. And uh, to believers, it just backs up what they read in the scripture and they see what God has done in your life and say, you know, God is still a God of miracles. God is still a God uh, you know, of, of power and of might. Uh, what he did back then, he can still do similar things today. Guys, thanks so much for listening. Go out there and have a great day. Shalom and God bless.